Uh, can I begin by saying how uh, the, uh, the United Nations Refugee Agency is deeply grateful for the role that Greece has played over many years as a, as a generous host to asylum seekers and refugees. Uh, and in particular, we've been um, most grateful for the work that Greece has done in ensuring the relocation of unaccompanied minors. It's been a rapid, fair program. It's been very successful, and we hope that it will continue. So uh, we, uh, we, we, we would like to express our gratitude for that. Uh, we are also very conscious that there are some, some difficulties for Greece uh, in, a, in a difficult time uh, for COVID and for other uh, geopolitical reasons. And in that context, we, we are impressed that uh, Greece continues to give access to uh, the asylum process uh, and to ensure that asylum seekers are treated with respect and with dignity, which is a key aspect. But in saying that, uh, we do recognize that it's, it's critical that the European Union uh, support Greece. Uh, we know well globally uh, that no one country uh, can be held responsible and no one country can, can take the burden and responsibility for uh, very large numbers of asylum seekers and refugees. And Greece, as a frontline country, has, uh, has been placed in that position. So we do ask uh, the European Union member states to uh, support Greece in its, uh, in its generosity in, in handling refugees and asylum seekers. Um, there are issues, there are challenges. We recognize that, but at uh, the United Nations Refugee Agency, we want to work with Greece and continue to do so uh, as we um, move into a new era, we think. Um, uh, five years on now since the emergency in 2015. So thank you very much, Minister.